UTEP administrators want to give the Sun Bowl what they call an uplift that'll cost a lot of money. And today, the university's president called on local voters to help foot the bill through a bond election. CBS 4 at 5.30's Ariana Parra is live at the Sun Bowl in West El Paso with how much money she's asking from taxpayers. Well, right now I'm live here at the Sun Bowl and you might want to take a good look because it could soon look different. Today, Vice President Heather Wilson acknowledging that $99 million is a lot of money, especially at a time when funding could go towards parks or other projects. But today she did make her case as to why voters should commit to this particular project. This is the only one that I think actually will generate tax revenue back um, to the county and city of El Paso. UTEP President Heather Wilson says she hopes to work with county officials to add what she calls a Sun Bowl uplift to the county's quality of life bond in November. It's not something that the university can do alone. The $99 million proposal calls for renovations to the Sun Bowl in hopes of bringing in A-list events and in turn more revenue. We think we can probably do an additional eight events at the Sun Bowl without, you know, without pushing too hard. I mean, that's the economic impact of those events to this region is over $2 billion over 30 years, which is the same period over which a bond would be paid off. Among the renovations would be upgrades for restrooms and concession areas, a cover for the Sun Bowl fields that Wilson says cost promoters $300,000 to rent, nicer green rooms for performers, and a wider entrance to the Sun Bowl for semi-trucks to make setting up and breaking down easier for performances. Can you get in and out uh, in a day rather than a day and a half loading 18-wheeler trucks and get back on the road is a significantly reduced expense. While Wilson is asking the county to work with her, we asked about her previous collaborations with the county that brought controversy earlier this month when the founder of UTEP's Aerospace Center was blamed for inaccuracies on a grant proposal and removed as the head of the center. A decision local leaders, including the county judge, disagreed with. What have your conversations been like with city, county, and local leaders as far as grant funding and the future of the Aerospace Center in comparisons to those conversations and relationships talking about this bond in particular? I'd, I'd refer you to the statement from the Chancellor in Region L. Tyfe on that. Uh, it involves a personal personnel matter, and I don't have anything further to add. Now, we did reach out to the county to find out whether this item will be listed separately on the ballot or in combination with other county projects. We'll be sure to let you know when we hear back. For now, reporting in West El Paso, I'm Mariana Parra, CBS4 at 530. At today's news conference, CBS4 asked the UTEP president if the university has reached out to donors for help with these kinds of projects. She responded that the Sun Bowl renovation project is too large to be funded through donations. You know, we certainly, if anyone here would like to fund this, see me afterwards, we will, <laughs> we will talk to you. A project of this size and scope we don't think um, would, be, would be able to be done um, by a donor. There may be some things that could be added or naming opportunities, but not at this scale. Despite Wilson's answer, there is a recent example of a donor making this type of donation. And it comes from someone with strong UTEP and El Paso connections. Local businessman Paul Foster graduated from Baylor University and has made donations of $100 million and $35 million to his alma mater. And one of those donations helped build a new stadium.